October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, a time to acknowledge domestic violence survivors and to be a voice for its victims. Hannah is deeply honored today to have Bill Mitchell as our speaker for our third annual Voices event. The program promises to be compelling and inspiring as we listen to his family's tragic journey in the world of dating violence. Thank you very much, Diane. I really appreciate that. I call this talk, When Dating Hurts, it's the name of the book that I published, and it's also the name of the podcast that I just launched the beginning of this year. On June 2nd, she spent that day with two of her friends from St. Joseph's University. So on that same June 3rd, she was seeing a couple of her friends. In the meantime, Nick, as we're calling him, was pretty angry about it because he was being shut out that day. He was jealous of Kristen spending the day with her friends, interrupting her with texts and phone calls all day long. Now what I'd like to do is kind of pause the story and just talk about some of the red flags, or some people call them warning signs, of an unhealthy relationship. Somebody who will even plant things or do things in the house or around you to make it look like you failed on something just so it brings down your self-esteem and therefore they have more and more power. This is the only fact I usually dispense in any of these talks. And that is one in three women will suffer serious physical violence in an intimate partner relationship. At this point in the evening, we will be having a brief, brief question answer session with Bill and our audience. So the first one that I see here is, is there anyone that you think could have talked to Kristen that would have made a difference? You know, I think it's somebody that had to really, some, for someone to sway Kristen, I think they really had to know a lot more about domestic violence. A lot of things I talked about tonight to really convince her about how bad this is, not just how uncomfortable dating this guy was, but I mean, that this could go to a really, really, really desperately bad place. So I think someone had to have the, the, the background knowledge to convince her to tell you the truth. If we walk away from this evening and can only recall one message, what is the most important thing that we should remember? I would say to people, it can happen to you. It can happen to people you love. People close to you one way or another can happen to coworkers, can happen to a neighbor. So what do you do about that? Start with learning the warning signs. Thank you for joining us for this difficult but important conversation. Enjoy the rest of your evening and please stay well and stay safe.